that this book there's a version in English and a version in Spanish and it's written by a writer from El Salvador Ooh. yes it's it's written by Guadalupe Castellanos this book we're going to dedicate it to Nicola and Megan it's called the everlasting hug <laughs> it's for now that we cannot be hugging each other it's so sad no, bien, it is. To the never ceasing love that embraces me every morning in this faithfulness. Hi, I am Carlitos. I live with my mom and dad and my little sister. Each day I wake up really happy and I make sure to hand out hugs and kisses to everyone at home. Tú te levantas dándonos abracitos también. I even make sure my dog gets hugs. One Sunday morning, my mom gave me some news. She had to travel for work and she would be gone away for a week. Mm, sometimes people leave for work. I had never been away from my mom. I was very scared. The day my mom left for her trip, she said, Carlitos, I'll be back in a week. Since I won't be here to receive you your morning hugs or give you mine, I would like to give you something special. I'll leave you an everlasting hug. I didn't understand what she meant by an everlasting hug because I knew every type of hug. She was gonna give her an everlasting hug, a hug that lasted forever. The tight hugs and some soothing hugs. When you give like tight hugs that you're excited and then the hugs where you're soothing. The type of hug, hug that comes with a kiss. That's another type of hug. Yeah. Oh. It's a kissing hug. A kissing hug. I love hugs. The reassuring hug. When you go, it's okay. The hugs that are followed by an apology. Oh, when I say, I'm sorry, and I say, it's okay. Mm. And hugs fill with great joy when you do something great and you're like, yeah, let's hug. But what was an everlasting hug? He was wondering. And just like she said, my mom hugged me before she left. I felt just like any other hug to me. It felt just like any other hug to me. But I didn't say anything. I was like, well, I don't think that's an everlasting hug. I spent the day thinking about my mom and her everlasting hug. I thought it, I thought about it in recess. During lunchtime, he was thinking about the hug during lunchtime too and at the end of school he was thinking all the time about the hug hmm. and right before going to bed he thought about the hug what the heck and it was like this through the whole week he kept thinking and thinking about the mom and her hug when my mom came back, I ran out to meet her and I gave her one of my hugs, one specially tight. Then my mom asked me, how did the week go with my everlasting hug? Great, I know what an everlasting hug is. It's a hug that stays with you in your heart and it seems to last forever no matter how far the person who gave it to you is. Wow. Have you ever had an everlasting hug? Hmm? Like a hug from Nicole and Megan that it's still here even though they're not here? Yeah. That's right, my mom replied while she gave me an everlasting kiss on my cheek. Oh. everlasting kiss can I have an everlasting kiss 
And here are our authors and illustrators.